Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Year, SportBikeTrackYear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Shark RSX helmet model. I happen to have one right here. It's one of the new graphics for 08, the flag. I'll give you a nice little 360 here so you can see exactly what this helmet looks like from each and every angle. Good looking lid. Um, the one I have in my hand is a size large. Shark is very lightweight. They are ECE 2205 and DOT certified. Um, they are not Snell certified. The BSI and the ECE 2205 certifications are very stringent. They're European certifications. And in many people's estimation, they're actually a little better than the Snell. I kind of share that, but I don't want to debate that right now. Nevertheless, it's a, it's a very, very formidable crash helmet, no doubt. Um, EC2205 and BSI stuff is lighter weight than Snell. This is a size large, okay? Most of the time when we're going to weigh a helmet, when anyone's going to do a helmet weight comparison, they do it with a size medium because a medium is a smaller shell. Smaller shell equals less weight. In size large, this helmet weighed 3.5 pounds on the shipping scale. To give you something to compare that to, uh, in a Rye Corsair RX7 in size medium, which would have been the proper size to do, weighed 3.45 pounds. So we've got the larger shell here and it was only one tenth of a pound heavier so realistically in a medium this would certainly be lighter than the Arai Corsair. Um, let's talk about the visor first and the removal mechanism. This is something that's pretty unique with the Shark here. You can see the push button release here and this little, this little tang that's kind of on a pivot. Uh, in order to remove this visor you have to push this little pivot down so it's inside an open channel here on the visor. Do that on both sides. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the visor up just a little bit so that the top and the bottom portion of these tabs are now completely inside that open channel. Push in and this little spring-loaded gig comes right out. Same thing here on the other side, comes right off. This helmet visor is three millimeters thick. This is basically, you know, the same as an F1 visor, if you would. It enhances the safety feature of the visor. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up the actual thickness of this, but it's, it's pretty substantial. It's one of the first things you're going to notice when you get one of these in your hands. The shark visors are also fog-free. They're fog-treated. We've taken them outside here. It's Michigan. It's December. It's really cold. I've done some heavy breathing in it. No fog. I've got a shark that I've ridden in. I've ridden in early and late season a little bit. I've experienced no fog. I would say the treatment, the coating they use, it works very well. It's good stuff. To put the visor back on, Simply line up those tabs, push, rotate that back up. Same deal over here. Line up, push. When you push it all the way down, there is basically a little brass button that protrudes from the shell of the helmet. There's a hole cut here in the visor. That's a lock so that the shield can't just pop open. Excellent quality all the way. Ventilation on this helmet. We've got the vent up here in the chin, which basically you push in, spring loaded, it comes out. Bring this to the side here a little bit. Feels like a good quality mechanism. Nice idea. I like the little spring loaded gig. That's pretty cool. Up here on the top, you push back on this button. That pops open. Once again, spring loaded. Push down. Locks in place real nice. For the extractor vent here at the back, just got a little wheel. You just simply rotate it open or closed. Real simple. The interior of the helmet utilizes you know, the DuPont Coolmax fibers. It's good quality interior, especially for a helmet at this price point. It's very comfortable. It comes with a chin curtain as stock. It's easily removable. Just kind of pull that right out like so. And we're going to take this helmet apart all the way because I want to show you the EPS of this helmet. It's very unique. To get the cheek pads out, got a couple of snaps inside, like most other models. Simply release those snaps, pull your helmet strap through, pull this out, it's sewn to the cheek pad, it's got, you know, like a piece of plastic, tucks right in between the EPS and the helmet shell, real easy to do. This one's actually, the RSX is just a little bit easier to service than their flagship RSR2. You know, some of the stuff they had done with the RSR2 
um, the liners just a little more complicated. So like I said, removal and reinstallation, just a little bit trickier, but you don't find that on the R RSX model. To get the top pad out, up here in the brow area, you simply need to grab onto the top pad and then just give it a nice little tug and pull back. Comes right out. Pull it up like so. We've got another plastic piece that's sewn on that goes in between the EPS and the helmet shell back here. Pulls right out. Nice quality top pad. Now, here is one of the features that makes the shark really special. And Eric, make sure I'm holding this at a good angle so you can see it very clearly. Um, you see the big channels that are cut into the EPS. This is part of their, their crumple zone technology. There's different densities of, of EPS in here as well. And you know their, their whole point here is that you know if in fact you do have an accident in the helmet, that all these areas are able to collapse, absorb the energy, keep it from transferring to your head, and protect you. And Shark does a great job with that. They have a great reputation in the industry with this technology that they've used. Something else that all these channels allow to happen is the helmets flow great air. This is certainly the RSX flows above average uh, in the ventilation department. It's good stuff. Like I said with the RSR2, uh, you don't see a whole lot of shark helmets. They don't, they're not one of the biggest sellers out there. The reason is not that the helmets are not quality. It's not that they don't have all the features, the performance, and the great fit and feel. I believe the reason is they're just not marketed quite as well as some of the other models. And let's face it, showing Arrive have been here forever. When you're thinking premium helmet, that's really what most people are thinking. You're thinking Arai, you know, the big flagship, the R RX-7 Corsair, great helmet, can't say anything bad about it. The Showy, the X-11, you know, we've got the AGV with the Tytec. You don't hear many people talking about the Shark. We've never sold one to someone that was disappointed with it. That's a good sign. I find the fit of this helmet runs very consistent with the other common stuff out there. If you're medium in an Arai, okay, You've got an intermediate oval shape head, which is 90% of the helmet wears out there. The RSX, the RSR2, and the RSI, they're going to work great for you. You're not going to have any issue. The benefits you pick up with this is their crumple zone technology in the EPS. We've got the fog-free visor. Remember, Arai doesn't offer that. That's something that it, I hope that they do change in the future. Um, you've got the 3 millimeter thick F1 technology visor. Great ventilation. All in all, you know, we feel very confident you purchase a shark helmet, you're going to be really happy with it.